With this video, I'm going to focus on Shobi and Book Creator, which are often seen as the perfect combination and the essential combination, if you like, for use in the classroom in primary and secondary. With Book Creator, it's really easy to create powerful multimedia documents. And of course, Shobi is the distribution or the backup tool. So here, logged in as a teacher, I have created an assignment called Book Creator. I have one student myself, and uh, within the shared folder, I would say to my students, upload your books here. So I'm going to log out from being a teacher and log in as a student and look at my first example with Book Creator, which is using this combination with shared iPads. So focusing on working with shared iPads with Shobi and Book Creator, the student picks up an iPad and taps on Sign In. They put in their username and their password. Once they've done that, they tap on Sign In they'll be able to see all the classes they are a member of. We'll select this class. I've now added this student or this student has actually joined the demo class we're talking about and they can select the assignment that they're working on. They can see all their previous work that they've been uh, completing in Shobi from this iPad. So the teacher is saying upload your books here. The student goes into Book Creator, creates their book, adds their content, movies, audio, images, text, all of that, and then just, just taps on this share icon and will select copy to Shobi. And by the way, this order of um, apps in this share menu, you just tap and hold on any of the apps and drag them around to change the order. So if you're finding Shobi is constantly appearing further down the list and you want it to be up here at the top of the list, of course you do. You want it where you make it easier just to tap on it it's as easy as that. So, student taps on Copy to Shobi. And notice that it takes us straight back to where we were in Shobi. It assumes that um, that's where we've just been working. That's where we want to add the file. And I can just tap on Add File here. However, the student may have moved to another class. Let's say it was a secondary class or a secondary school. Um, I can just tap on this little blue arrow here to select different classes that they're taking throughout the week. And then the different assignments from where the work is set. And when they found the right assignment, they just tap on add file. So that file is now being backed up to the cloud and they can access this from any other iPad as we're going to do in a minute. The important thing of course, is that it is a backup. It is safe. I don't know how many USB sticks or hard drives you've lost, but you're not going to lose this file. It's there on the cloud in Shobi, safe for as long as you want it to be. And there's the file added. Now, from the student perspective and the teacher perspective, it's important to note that now Shobi is optimized to work with book creator files. If we select the book, it will function exactly as it would um, uh, if it was in iBooks. Shobi has now got an ebook reader built in. Audio, video, text and images all function completely as they should do, which makes it easy for the teacher or the student to look at the work without leaving Shobi. So this student is now going to sign out of Shobi. And let's go and pick up another iPad and log in. So one of the problems teachers are saying they have with shared iPads is that when a student picks up another iPad, goes into Book Creator, of course, their work is not going to be there. So what the student does is goes into Shobi and logs in, and they have exactly the same experience as they had previously on the other iPad. They can see their classes, they can select the relevant class, Book Creator, and there's their book. And of course, they could be doing this from an iPad at home. They select their book, and notice in the top right hand corner, there's our share icon again. They tap on this and they're now going to select copy to book creator. And there's our book. It's just downloaded from Shobi. The student goes in and can continue working as they did before. Now, if you're thinking, well, hold on a minute, this, uh, Workflow works perfectly with any kind of files, pages, etc. Of course, Shobi um, functions as the conduit for the students creating work on an iPad 
saving their work to Shobi, and then moving to a second iPad. As long as you have this, the relevant app, Pages, Keynote, Explain Everything, etc., on the second iPad, that's the perfect combination. That's what makes Shobi so powerful. So in this section, I want to take the first workflow a bit further with this combination of Shobi and Book Creator, um, looking at Book Creator as a reading journal or portfolio or a diary or record of achievement. Here, the um, student is making a cover um, using pictures of the covers of books that they've been reading. And within the book itself, they can create sections uh, with their own drawings, videos, uh, giving their opinion on the book. They can record audio. So if they want to record um, a review of the book, they can take pictures of the pages of the books they're on. They can record themselves reading the book. If they'd had particular problems with a particular section, they could use the pen tool and highlight various sections of the book and basically use Book Creator as a, a sort of reading journal, putting all those elements together in one place. And of course, they could create a section for each book that they read. Now, I take this idea in terms of um, recording progress with reading and Shobi uh, a stage further in a separate video. So have a look at that. But for now, I just like to focus on how powerful Book Creator is with a couple of other examples. This is a book created by a primary school student. And all of the content has been created by them. Wonderful images, wonderful drawings. And... What I find with Book Creator is really, it's the expectancy, it's the framing that you set with your students that leads to the quality of the work. Here's an example from an older student, Amy Jewell. This is a fantastic portfolio that she's created in art, the work of Alexander McQueen. And as you can see, it's a really professional looking book. Here's one we created as a journal or dossier for one of our iBeacon murder mysteries for people to download as part of the murder mystery with all the contents and the suspects, the weapons, etc. Book Creator is a really uh, powerful but simple to use tool. In the third part of this video, I'm going to look at using Book Creator with Shobi for scaffolding learning. I have an assignment here called A Day in the Life of a Roman Soldier. I'm logged in as a teacher, by the way. I should make that clear first of all. And I've created this assignment and I have my students here and in the shared folder, I might give them the various instructions and some pictures and text, video, whatever, uh, as part of the assignment. But with this particular class, I want to scaffold the learning a little more and um, give them some sort of template with which to work with. So what we can do in Book Creator is create a sort of template book. Here it is. There's the, uh, the title, which they can edit. I'm asking them to add their own cover image. I might give them more instructions. For example, draw your own picture, put it on the cover. And then within the contents of the book, you can see I'm giving them some information, some instructions, telling them where to put their video, their script, etc. And now I simply tap on the share icon as before and send it to the students via Shobi. When the students log into Shobi, they see the new assignment. And here they can see the template book that I've created for them. And through a reversal or duplication, actually, of the process that you've seen earlier, they can take that book from Shobi, but created by the teacher, and open it in Book Creator. And it adds it to their shelf. And they can now work with this template book. The scaffolding has been put in place for what I want them to do. And I can add as much or as little content as I want for this process to the template book. In the last part of this video, I'm going to focus on Shobi and Book Creator with a collaborative workflow. Here on this iPad, I've got a student who has produced a book using our template. You can see it says here, students, uh, second student's book. And the student would save their book to Shobi in the first instance. And the reason they're doing that is so that they hand in a copy of their work as it stands to Shobi for this teacher to see. So that's the first part of that process, sending their work to Shobi. The collaborative part is a lovely feature uh, that Book Creator has where books can be shared through the share icon and we then use AirDrop to send their work from this iPad 
to another student. So I'm going to do that and demonstrate this selecting my second iPad here. And I'll now cut to the other iPad and show you the second part of that process. Here we are on the other iPad and we can see that the book is arriving on the second iPad and the iPad is prompting us to say, well, which application do you want to open that book creator file into? And I'm going to open it back into book creator. And there it is. So we can now work on that book, but notice what we've got here. We've got the first student's book and we have the second student's book. What this student would do would be go into their book, possibly do something to it. Let's just change a few things. And they would send their book back to Shobi, to the teacher, so that the teacher has a copy of their work as well. That's the important point. The teacher is receiving through Shobi copies of the student's own work. The students can then collaborate in this way. If I select the plus icon and select combine books, and you can only do this with books that are the same shape, by the way, in Book Creator. I can select the other student's book and copy it into my own. As a small addendum to that workflow, you may want students to use this feature in Book Creator, which is to duplicate their work first so that they have a copy of their original and then a copy which they use for the combining of the books and then they upload their original to Shobi and then the combined book. And essentially we use that workflow so it's quite clear for students which book is their original with just their work and which is the combined piece of work. So that's Shobi and Book Creator with four workflows which hopefully you'll find useful in your classrooms.